And then, yes, it's Natty and Nikki versus Piper and Chelsea, except Nikki just comes down to the ring with Natty. She stands on the apron like a zombie, and then she just leaves. And people are booing, and then Natty makes her own comeback, but she gets run over by Piper and pinned. And Piper was, if you watch this match, Piper is not moving well. Looked like her knee is messed up or something. I don't know what's going on. Mm. But she had trouble getting up and running, especially for the finish. So hopefully she's all right. But Natty beaten, and then later Nikki just wandered by Adam Pierce. Is this going anywhere? No idea. This is the longest nothing happened in storyline I've ever seen. This storyline with Nikki Cross. Drew met with Jay. Well, they haven't even. It's, it's it's like yeah, she's done this gimmick on and off for years, but like this is like a restart of it. I mean, it's not like she's been doing it the last couple of months. No, it's just she's, she's just back thinking, again doing nothing. She's, she's back doing the gimmick that she did years ago. Yeah. Drew then said, "I can't imagine how it feels for the Judgment Day to cost you a belt, Jay. You know what you should do? Just get over it." I love this character, this Drew McIntyre character. He says, if you weren't on Raw, this match with Sammy tonight would never happen. So whatever happens to Sammy, it's on you tonight. So we had Drew versus Sammy. And uh, they had a good, good match. match with a crappy finish. Yeah, it was another one. I mean, there was a lot of those on the show. But uh, they had a very good match and lots of cool near falls. And then suddenly Rhea's music hits. She starts heading down to the ring. Sammy tries a cradle. Drew kicks out. Sammy goes for the kick, redistracts him, Drew hits the Claymore, gets the pin. I mean, this had no creativity to this distraction finish. It was just nice. jump up on apron, get distracted, get hit with the move, pinned. Yeah. So then Nick Aldis. Well, is, Drew, Drew, Drew had to win. Yeah. And there's yeah. more on this later on as well. Yeah. So Nick Aldis is talking to Caden and Katana. He's trying to recruit them, basically. And Pierce says, shows be, up, and the, the, you could be big box office, which they really are not on Raw. No, they definitely are not. Yeah. And Alda says, "Ah, we're just having a friendly conversation." And Pierce says, "Listen, or actually, Alda says, you've had a tough night. I know where this is heading, so I'm just going to do you a favor and I'm going to leave." And he actually left. There was no more to it. And then Nikki wandered past Adam Pierce. Uh, Bronson killed Akira Tozawa. Just killed the dude with the tsunami. And then uh, we had a meeting backstage with the tag teams, and DIY showed up. They're back. And then Seth meets with Drew after his match. So ne next next week, they're going to wrestle. Uh, DIY is going to wrestle Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, and it is their first tag team match together. In Vinci three hasn't years. been fired yet. He was told if you don't stretch out this Johnny Gargano, that's it. And he didn't. He, he didn't. lost. He didn't. Maybe it'll be it next week. It might be it next week. I don't think his chances are good at this point. Yeah, and and if they, they if they take him away from the group, man, his chances aren't good at all. But, no. uh, you know, going on his own. I mean, he'll get one match with Kaiser, and then they're going to forget him. So Seth meets with Drew, and he says, "Congratulations, your first big win as a member of the Judgment Day." And Drew says, "Listen, you're all paranoid. I saw you talking to Rhea earlier, and you didn't say no to her offer." So now Seth gets serious and says, "I don't need them now or ever." And I certainly don't need them to beat you at Crown Jewel. So uh, they agreed no judgment day. Yep, they both agreed no judgment day. So do you think the, the Drew's going to double cross him? I don't know, man. About about a month and a half ago, they did some angle, and I thought, you know, they could actually put Drew in the judgment day. Yeah. And, uh, hey, if he's going heel, you know, they're going to probably get rid of Damian Priest. I yeah. mean, Drew's a better replacement for Damian Priest than... Uh, JD. JD McDonough. He's yeah. more the guy that just gets beaten up every week. Yeah. So very well could happen. But uh, he said, may the best man win. And Drew says, oh, he will. So I'm excited for that match. Yeah. Yeah. Except, except the finish is going to be Rhea Ripley comes out. Distracts one of them. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. Probably, probably multiple people coming out. So the main event was uh, Damian Priest and Jey Uso. And you'll never guess, we had another distraction finish. They uh, they also had a good match. But at the end there, uh, you know, fans, uh, they wanted a table. They didn't get it. Finn ran down, took the ref. Jay punched him, hit the tope to the outside. Finn then yanks Jay balls first in the middle rope. Priest hits South Heaven for the pin. I mean... 
You were complaining about the uh, ref bump and get the briefcase. I would have died to have that here at this point. This was just such a nothing happening. Guy distracts him. Another guy gets pinned. No, that's the new booking. And Finn hits a coup de grace after the match. Priest tells Finn to go get the chairs. They're going to pilmanize him. But then Cody's music hits. He hobbles out on one leg. He manages to beat up Finn in the aisle. Chop locks Priest. Gives him a beating. And he puts the chair on Priest's leg. But Balor yanks him to safety. So, uh... I guess we'll see if Cody's like totally healed next week, or if this is going to be like an angle, an injury leading into the pay per view. I think it'll be. I think it's 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 to sell the pay per view. Yeah. I think it'll be. I think it'll be healed after the pay per view, but I think it'll go through the pay per view cycle. Yeah. So, I mean, it should. That's too. They did too much for him to go in there and not limp in the match. I would say that overall the show was pretty good outside of the uh, the lame finishes, and uh, that does lead us to Crown Jewel twenty twenty three. Which is uh, coming up on November 4th, which is, in fact, Granny's birthday, 94 years old. Can believe wow. that. And uh, we got five matches Cody Rhodes, Damian Priest, Ray and Logan Paul for the U.S. title, Roman Reigns and L.A. Knight for the Universal title, the five way with Rhea, Nia, Shayna, Zoe, and Raquel, and then Seth versus Drew for the World Heavyweight title. Yeah, so. I think probably. Um... Um, Io Sky and Bianca Belair and John Cena will be in a match and I presume because of the way he did the promo about how he hasn't won a singles match in five years or whatever it is since 2018 that he will probably be in a singles match. No, but no, no. But, but the thing is he has not won a uh, a singles television match. Well, he specifically is, said television. Yeah, well, I'm I think sure, this uh, is probably I think this is probably going to be well, I mean, Cena's on the card. Sure. He's been advertised there. I'm sure so, he'll win. Yeah. Whoever well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm sure I'll have a match, you know, and I presume it's a singles match, but uh, have to wait and see. I'm sure it'll be announced. I'm sure the Cena match will be announced on Friday. So is there anything new on Drew McIntyre? Has he re-signed? Do we know? Um, I could check, but I do not believe he's re-signed. Because this is a pretty damn big match for a guy who is not re-signed. Oh, no, 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 no. They were going to push him. You know, he's 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 solid through April, so it's not Oh, it's like, April? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you can put the through. title on him. It, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's time that you can do whatever you want with him through April. So the the deal is, the deal is that his contract was to expire like at the end of the year, but because of all of the injury time accrued, I see April. that deal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there's there's. I mean, they're not at at a point where I would say it's um, you know. It's it's dangerous, or we're at the turning point, or don't put the title on him, which you know they've done before. They've they've done had champions, Bret Hart, um, Jeff Jarrett, you know, where guys' contracts were up and they still have well, titles. Yeah, on but him. you're talking about things in the '90s. It's 2023 now. Yeah, but they've done it before. Well, sure, but you know, Vince is out That's of there, the, and I don't think Hunter's Vince, putting the title on somebody whose contract is. Oh no, no, no! I don't expire. either. I don't. I don't either. I don't either. But the point is, he's got plenty of time. Sure, it's not like it's not like you know you you can't have him win because he's going to be gone in a month and he doesn't have a, and he hasn't resigned his deal. Yes, and um, you know it's just and it's just a again, I mean it's it's basically a numbers game. I mean it's not like he is. It's not like he's a guy who's looking to leave. Um, it's just a numbers game, you know. I mean, he wants a certain number, and they did not offer that certain number, and and they may they may meet in the middle, and uh, or they may not meet in the middle, and he may go home. I don't know, or he may go. You know, of course, he can go to AEW. It's anything's possible. Sure. We had some neighbors. They had a little horse. One day, the horse disappeared, and we didn't know if they sold it or ate it. <laughs> I think it was ate it. I used to go over there and spend the night with the girls. I was quite a bit. Did you ever eat dinner there? No, the girls, the twins. They met. They met this father and son. And oh no! <laughs> one of them married the father, and the other married the son. Can you imagine how different ways they were related? The the I, daughters. I actually can't. That was a weird bunch. The dad was a uh, stepdad to the girls, and they got, got kind of familiar once in a while. <laughs> what? Move on. Go. <laughs> Don't just go. He's Was having a cow too. Not inbred. <laughs> anyway, we used to have to churn butter. Are you having fun, Wendy? I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> hey guys, did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.